Yo, hello guys, how are you? Today I will be explaining you some basics of uh, Vizi. Like I will show you these, I will explain most of these and before all of this I will show you how we can calculate the coordinates, navigation coordinates of a target or our craft which are useful for landings target and you will need this in upcoming competition too so let's get into it so we will be using the while true part uh, it is used for infinite loop of a code i will explain you more about this later and we are going using display uh, which we will display our coordinates like navigation we will use the target position for it because it is the most easiest way to get the position of the target uh, while simple position is our graph position and this is PCI so we will convert it into latitude and longitude values so like this and I use this in and th this is our only core to require for calculate the coordinates so let's check so this has been shown which is not our target for uh, coordinates which is just the coordinates of i mean like center of the earth latitude zero longitude zero so first of all we will select the target like i will selecting the large pad where it is uh, here look these are the coordinates so just take a sh screenshot like this you can take one or more screenshots it's your choice but look these are the coordinates first one is latitude second one is longitude and third one is for height then use the google vision from the google and just select those coordinates it is very easy this way after copying let's check it like this is the vector and just paste those first one are going to put in the first part for latitude and for second one use the second part like minus 130 after comma which is the second part which will be for longitude so just only two needed not need for the height agl part so it's very simple but if you don't want target position your current position just put it to navigation simple position now this is your current position the first one is latitude second one is longitude don't worry that it changes just take a screenshot and it will be okay uh, where you will move the coordinates will change so it doesn't matter at which height you are the same exact point coordinates will remain same only height will change if you go up or down and now time to move to other things like this first thing is weight it is only for waiting like wait one second five second and then next program this is more advanced like wait until what you want before the next busy activate like wait until some activation group is true or false or you want any altitude to be reached then the next uh, program will execute like wait until activation group is 9 is equal to true then it will wait one second or you can do like if altitude is more than something you want like anything like 500 or 5000 so next thing will execute i will show you all this working in a series so just wait and see and now the next thing is this repeat thing it means that the code will repeat 10 times because it is written 10 you can change it to 100 thousand whatever you want and that code which is inside it will repeat 100 times then it will go down like below this is this thing for i this is used for the like countdown 
like i is the constant or like any variable here which is 1 to 10 by 1 this mean i is equal to 1 it will go to 10 by the factor of 1 so we can change it to 100 will i will move from 1 to 100 i will show you this display i i will be the one and we will be using like wait one second so we will make a countdown or just a counting code so it will go from 1 to 100 by 1 1 mean 1 positive we can do 2 minus 1 which will be go from backward now we will be using this uh, we will exp i will explain repeat uh, later first i will show you how we can make a simple countdown code a simple counting code by this like uh, i will show you that after 1 to 10 yeah uh, this code will be over the its below thing will activate so so like uh, whatever code was from when we activate group 9 uh, look it is going from 1 to 10 then it will uh, show over i hope it shows look it's a success now i am going to convert this into the countdown code like we will con put the i to like uh, by minus one and i to 10 and other thing is zero so which mean it will go from one to zero by one minus one after waiting one second each just uh, wait like this 10 9 look it's working and after i think zero it will be showing over look that's how you can make a very simple countdown code and now i will be showing you the repeat thing like i will make it to two so the countdown will um, work two times it means what is inside the repeat it will uh, uh, repeat two times so after like from going from 10 to 0 and it will not directly goes to over it will again start from 10 to 0 like this so after doing this it will start the countdown look after uh, over it will re again start it look from again from 10 to 0 and after 0 this time it will show over because we have used the repeat core which is 2 so you understand how this repeat thing also work and now we will be using the while part while part is uh, same like repeat part like uh, while is on gym or steroid no no not steroid it is on supplements so infinity so if we uh, use a repeat if we move repeat to infinity it will become the while true so it's just same thing but uh, while thing won't stop until we command it to stop or we will use an break thing in it so it will go on forever like if we put this it will keep on counting and never move down until we told it to so it will be a infinity countdown from 10 to 0 and never over you can change it to 0 0.5 seconds so it will change minus 1 by every 0 0.5 second look it's going fast it is never going to end never ever never it's infinity so if we want it to stop we will use something in while like uh, this i will show you like we will be using while activation group this is true it will work when it will be false it will be over like when activation 9 is equal to true this thing will work and when it is uh, moved to false then this uh, loop will end uh, 
look after pressing 9 it will work look one cycle will end we turn now it will after going to zero it will be over look the while thing is also over so it is very useful thing you can use it a lot it is most useful thing in this game now time to show you some more experiments with this like how we can stop it other than this from the inside not from the outside like we will be using if for this in this corner it's me we will use if inside this countdown code not with separate so we will be doing like if activation group will be false 9 i mean activation 9 will be false then we will be using the break code so it should break but i think it is way inside so it won't break completely so let's see what break what it breaks so it's working and when we turn off it goes back to one because it is deep inside we can't break it too much so we will go for another technique to break it completely so we will go to over like it will indefinitely goes on and off if we press 9 it will start countdowning and if we stop it it will stop countdowning now we will be completely ending the loop by using if first then moving the countdown code inside the if like this it means uh, we will move it to true this means if activation group is 9 is equal to true this countdown code will work now after the if we will use the else thing too because we need a something other than if if don't work it's mean if it if is not true then what will it do so we will be using else if and else so else else is used below the if not inside the if it should be joining if but not inside it so we will using break in the else so if 9 will be set to false so it should break the code like on off it should after zero it should be over it's over so you see how we can end the while code from the outside and from the inside for inside we need if command or anything else now think if we want the countdown to stop exactly at the same moment where we where we press or uh, we will move activation 9 to false it should over so we will using if inside the countdown to like we will doing the if activation group 9 is equal to fast then break this after breaking this it will move from the if part to uh, uh, i think the other if part uh, else part where it will also see break so it will completely break you understand like if we break from uh, this if whole uh, whole thing will be over and it will see else is also break so it will continuously break look at this now we will set to 9 is true started the countdown and immediately it is over we can turn it on now again just over so you see now i am going to explain you something like this we use if else if and else part all three things if is like if activation group 9 is equal to true then the countdown from 10 will start to 0 and then we use else if it is connected with if but it is not inside the if it is just below the if this mini if else if activation group 10 is equal to true then we will start countdown from 20 and the final thing is else which is just over if none no none of these is true then it will be show over and i have used uh, look up i have used like in the wait until activation group random from 0 to 10 is equal to true i use this because it was showing some problem 
like if we activate any other group it don't go so we use just random from 0 to 10 so it works fine then so it means if uh, randomly from 0 to 10 if any will activate it will work according to it like if 9 will activate we will start from 10 to 0 and we will use 10 and then it will start from 20 to 0 and else it is over after completing a code and also one more thing i put the whole thing in while so it will go on indefinitely forever like if we don't put anything it will over if we put 10 it will start from 20 and 9 for count on from 10 look the whole if else if and else thing is in while for the infinite loop while other things are not so uh, the reason i use random because uh, else need also something to work if we directly press the 8 it won't even start so i use the random for activating the code so basically random mean any random number from 0 to 10 or anything you want i will explain it uh, random or more things later so i hope you understand something and thank you very much guys and bye bye